Hey everybody, it's Ryan with McKinley Design Studio again. So I'm making a second gaffy stick here. Uh, you can see a previous video where I did the rifle shaped gaffy stick. I'm doing the acorn or pineapple gaffy stick here. I call it acorn because the end of it looks like an acorn. Um, and I just, I've made this out of a two by six that I had laying around the shop. Actually, it was left over from doing the rifle one. And uh, I don't like all the PVC pipe gappy sticks that are out there that are used for this particular version of, of the uh, prop. And so I like to use wood as much as possible um, if we're gonna try, just try and make the PVC look like wood in the next place. Anyway, so uh, it's a little bit of eyeballing. I'm basing this gappy stick off of the one that the Sideshow Hot Toys Tatooine Obi-Wan Kenobi kit comes with. And I just glued two extra pieces onto the top uh, and back side of this particular stick and then just start started working it on my sander. Um, to be fair, a lot of it I took off on my miter saw as well. And uh, that definitely speeds up the sanding process. But it was a matter of going between the sander and hand sanding to get it really kind of ball-like and smooth. You know, holding this thing, it, it really feels like a club. It, it feels dangerous holding this thing. You know, you were getting smacked in the head with it. You'd be in big trouble. If you were a droid, it would knock your arm right off. So you can see that there's a part that I've left proud um, on that. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that's for in a second here. Um, it's one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Oh, before I get to that. So I have this great tool. It's called a, a mortiser and it has a drill bit inside of a chisel. And that chisel, when it drops down, it cuts a square hole. What a great thing, huh? What a great idea. So you can see here, I'm cutting this rectangular slot being the uh, kind of acorn configuration to be able to fit it in and there it goes that took some sanding and some work in but so I've cut two uh, excuse me three octagons and I've stacked those and glued those together and that's gonna allow me once uh, I cut off those corners and take it over to the sander um, <clears throat> it's gonna allow me to make the kind of the textured protrusion on this that goes on the end of the gappy stick um, a lot of guys do this out of Bondo or they do it out of like sofa couch foot blanks but uh I, I really wanted this to look like it was made in the desert i do a pretty good job of getting it smooth and again that's going between this sander and then hand sanding but i don't know i just i just really like how it looks uh like this instead of with the the pre-finished look i'm of course going to add some lines on this I'm not going to go as far as doing the, the traditional, you know, kind of cross-check pattern. You'll see at the end what it kind of looks like. So here I am uh, burning the wood. You can get a better look at this in my previous video on the, the rifle gappy stick. Um, I kind of go through all of the steps that I do, but basically just to recap it here, I burn it with a torch and then I take it over and with a metal brush on my drill, I remove all of the burnt cellulose and it leaves behind an amazing weathering pattern. It's just so cool. Anyway, so this is kind of a fun part of it because you get to use fire. You get to set fire to stuff. It's really neat. Um, yeah, anyway, so here we go. Um, I had a chance to put some stain on it and then I just kind of slotted the acorn in and you can see just how bulky this thing looks. It looks, I don't know, it looks so cool. So uh, I have a friend that's doing the uh, the metal pieces and when I make those, I'll, I guess I'll do a final third piece video. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it.